Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Hello everyone, it's me once again. Hope you're well. It's Saturday. I hope uh, many of you will turn up tonight for a live show on this beautiful robot called Anki Vector 10 o'clock. Now, I just shown you as an introduction why Vector hasn't responded to me uh, despite I was screaming at him. As you know, I changed from iPhone to Google Pixel 3XL and I had to reinstall this app. And during that course, I uh, forgot that it was left on US English and the reason I'm making this video is just want to highlight in case you have any similar problem um, Vector is quite good at understanding each different access it, uh, accent it seems um, just right now I showed you uh, well using my British accent trying to call Vector he did not respond but let's try in the US English version and see how we respond I'll see if I am doing the proper English. Okay. Hey, Vector. Come here. So there you go. Again. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. Come here. So there you go. It's working very well. Um, if I but um, let's try still on English, US English version, and trying to call him again. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. He likes me, but he doesn't recognize me. So there you go. So let's try to change that to Great Britain English, and see whether. Okay, sorry Vector. And see whether you respond. Hey Vector, there you go, straightforward again. Uh, let's wait. Hey Vector, straight ahead. Okay, so it seems that um, you got to be careful with the language of what language you use if you're using an Australian accent or Great Britain accent or English, proper English accent, should we say, <laughs> or the US English. So let's put on the Australian one. I'll try to personate. I don't know Australian accent that much, but hey, Vector. Okay, come here. Okay, so let's try that on the American version of it then. Hey, Vector. Well, oh, seems all right. Let's try English then. Hey Vector. Ah, so the Australian version seems to be most um, flexible one. Or maybe my accent is not that good. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Yeah. One more time. No, no, no. <laughs> time. <laughs> okay. Hey Vector. Yeah. And let's try the Australian version, my own version of it, Australian again. Hey Vector. Yep, that seems to be working. So they, you can see that um, in, if it's on US version and you're applying the British accent to it, it's not really responding at all, as you see, as you saw from my um, intro. Uh, but if you put it on Great Britain English. Um, I don't think, let's try if the American accent works on this one. Hey Vector. Ah, oh, okay. Hey Vector. Yeah. So, um, it's quite interesting. I think if you uh, use the US English, it seems to be very concentrated on that, very restricted, while as Great Britain English seems to be able to understand the US and uh, English English uh, accent and I think Australian one seems to be the most flexible one so 
If you had similar experience, I would personally advise you to uh, use the either the Great British English or the Australian English um, because I think when it comes to US English, it's finding it very difficult to understand me calling him. Uh, so I just wanted to highlight that up, but I, I, it's quite an encouraging sign personally for me because um, it's basically showing that um, it can uh, it distinguish different accent and uh, it's, it shows how good this technology is and I'm very greatly encouraged and excited about Anki being able to distinguish that language uh, accents and and so on so i just want to highlight that in case you had a similar experience when he's not responding to you so thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp all the best bye bye